Do you like comic books? Love comic books. How about crossovers? Those are the best. How about crossovers that deal with Alan Moore stuff? <laughs> the Alan <laughs> Moore. He's got to be so pissed about this, too. All well, right. You're crossing over. Well, we didn't tell him what it was yet. Well, we're, gonna, we're going to. We're gonna, we got to do the intro. we got to say hi. Uh, I'm Jack Lutz. Troy Singer. And the host of El Paso Comic Con, he is the one that's in charge, and he's the owner of Zia Comics in Las Cruces, where I highly recommend you go visit and get your pull list from. All right, there. That's good for a comic book, right? That's good for a comic book. Okay, cool, cool. There. So another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me starts... <clears throat> it's, um, now. Now. Yeah. All right. Coming up in the next couple weeks here... We have an insane crossover, and it, it boggles my mind how these guys haven't teamed up more in the past. Well, it's not just a title crossover. Mm -hmm. you got company crossover. Vertigo and DC are mm -hmm. they're owned by the same company, but they're mm -hmm. actually separate. Yes, yeah. Their they're, characters have been kept separate. Right. Until now. Uh, you don't find too often that the DC and Vertigo... Uh, Companies, well, the same company, but the characters would cross over. A number of times I can list off the top of my head Sandman, uh, I think Grifter was in Grifter, a couple yeah. of DC. We're talking about Batman, Flash, The Button. Let's rewind the clock here, Troy, to DC Rebirth, number uh, one, where. One of the best kept secrets. <laughs> Comics Jeff that Johns time. did something that I didn't think was possible. There was a long period of time where I was sick and tired <sighs> of DC Comics in general. Their new 52 lineup I thought was just, eh, you know, and then... Forever Evil. Right. Convergence. Convergence. Convergence nearly made me quit comic books. That's how horrible I thought <laughs> it was. Yeah. And this event called Rebirth is, is coming up. And we interviewed... Uh, DC Comics artist Brett Booth and even he was so tight-lipped about what was happening and You can see that interview. We got to interview him over at the uh, in, uh, Hotel Indigo and we threatened and bribed. <laughs> yeah, nothing worked. He nothing. Went, he nothing. wouldn't divulge. So Rebirth it, it just knocked knocked me off my socks man. Knocked me out of my socks. Yeah, the oh, whole yeah. thing, you know, first they had the little hand coming through the clouds. Mm -hmm. Whose hand is that? Whose hand? What's, What's going, going on? on? Yeah. Yeah. And then the rebirth, I the read end. it, I sat it down for a second, mm -hmm. and I had to think, did, I, did that really just happen? Yeah. So I went back through and read the whole thing again. I said, oh my God. Read it all the way again. It's I think it's going to happen. One of the yeah. biggest shockers in comic books, in my memory, in my memory, uh, if anybody's older, I know I would love to debate that with you. Um, but you saw Batman at the end of that issue. What's he doing in the Batcave? What's digging at the wall? What's he digging? Yeah. What's he? What's he bringing out? Oh my God! It's the it's comedian's button, complete with blood spot and everything. Yes, was... from the Watchmen. From the Watchmen. So you have now in DC Comics, you have the Watchmen looming over the DC universe and. By them, we're talking about Dr. Manhattan and in Oz. particular, Osmandius. What connection does the comedian have? If you've been following along so far, if you're a little confused, please go back and read Rebirth number one. And this has been spread out across the entire DC universe. Yes. So this story is going to deal with the mystery of the button with Batman and the Flash. It was back to what I was saying. These two, and I love them so much. I, I I'm surprised that that they haven't done more team ups. It's always usually Batman, Superman, Flash, Green Lantern. Those are the two. That's where they, they yeah. pair them both up. It's such an odd couple pairing that I I, I want to see that. I just want to see their relationship. They are arguably the two best detectives. Yeah. In DC Comics. Right. Right. So it just seems natural to pair these two up. And so what's going to happen for all you comic book readers out there, it's going to be four-part uh, story arc here. Mm -hmm. Both will be going from issues 21 to 22. Batman 21, Batman 22. And Flash, same numbers. Right, 21, 22. And you've got a, a cool deal going on that you're going to be selling uh, that you have, the special covers. The lenticular 
covers, yeah. which are like the, you turn them one way, it's so one picture, turn them another way, it's a different. Right, it's kind of like what, uh, not not what convert what they did with Converge. Forever Evil, they Forever did Forever Evil, yeah. yeah. Um, so, whoa. What is going to happen? And the people in charge of this will be with on the Batman part will be Tom King and Jason Fabok. Am I saying that right? I think so. Fabok. He's the artist. Okay, Jason F. And then with Flash on his side, you have Joshua Williamson and who else? Who am I thinking of? Harry Porter. Pollard. Howard Porter. Pollard. Po Porter. Porter. No, Howard Porter. You're right. Howard Porter. Okay. Pollard's on a different comic. Yeah. <laughs> so and it'll be done within a month. That's the best part. Yeah, that's the best part of the whole thing is that um, a lot of questions are going to be answered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of the questions have been answered so far with the DCU and as far as what the Watchmen uh, have been doing. Uh, sidebar: Go into uh, Superman. Check out our Superman episode. But for this, the comedian, Batman, Flash, if. If they possibly bring the comedian back, because he's, mm -hmm. he's dead. If you haven't he's, read Watchmen, he, this isn't a spoiler. It's been out for years. Right. Comedian's dead. He was thrown uh, out of a building. Osmandius threw him out of a building. That started the whole Watchmen uh -huh. thing. Do you think they'll bring back Rorschach? Rorschach. 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 <laughs> probably, probably the best character in Watchmen. Dude, anything's possible. Dude, at this point, at this point, anything is possible. To, to the fact that they got me to love DC Comics and and. And made me fall in love again after this dry spell that I had. <laughs> now it's just a, a, a wet monsoon. I'm loving everything that DC <laughs> is doing. And like like we said, it'll be done within a month. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Quick note, not drawn out and yeah. make you wonder. They're bi-weekly. Yeah. So, like you said. That's one of the advantages. That's one of the advantages of having a bi-weekly book, dude. Because especially with what DC's doing, two ninety nine bi-weekly books... As, as opposed to what Marvel is doing with some of their stuff, four ninety nine, five ninety nine, for a book in certain cases. But then the argument is going to be, well, you know, they've only charged up one, you know, once a month. You're getting two ninety nine. I'm trying <laughs> to think the last story arc or or initiative from either one of them that I've been this excited for. Yeah, and I can't think of one. I, it's. I want to know. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to know. I haven't been craving answers this much in a long long time just like reese's you know, two good things that go yeah. right together reese's and, and chocolate and vertigo and mm -hmm. dc yeah. and is that going to open up the door for other vertigo titles mm -hmm. to cross yeah. over into yeah. dc well let us know what you oh. think let us know man uh, as far as the team up give us some other odd pairing odd pairing team ups that you would love to see uh right now you have uh you have punisher and and dr strange and a team up you have Lobo working with Wait. Batman in Justice League. With a team. With a team. You haven't seen this since Legion. And now you got Batman and the Flash. Looking forward to it, man. Buy buy monthly book beginning in the next couple of weeks here. Beginning with issues 21 through 22 with both titles with Batman and the Flash. Oh. Can't wait to review these guys. All right. Oh. So be sure to also listen to us or catch us on... Uh, uh, well, Paso Herald Post, YouTube, Facebook, uh, I'm, I'm forgetting the Twitter, uh, Twitter, iTunes, iTunes, Twitch, Twitch, uh, stream. We're all over the interwebs. We're all over the place. And be sure to walk into Z Comics and see the Google trade. machine. You'll mm -hmm. find us. All right. So, with that said, another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me in the books. I'm Jack Lutz. Troy Sagner. Good night. It's your turn to shoot. And sleep tight. Which one? Oh, oh, you're way off. Low one outside. Way off. <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Talk Nerdy to Me. We talk all things comic books, comic book movies, TV shows, conventions, cosplayers, board games. If it's got comics in it, we'll talk about it. Be sure to check us out. YouTube, Facebook, and through the El Paso Herald Post.